A 12-year-old Beaverton boy is getting treatment for severe burns he suffered while playing with fire. Investigators tell us the boy tried to set fire to some little plastic army men using paper and gasoline. When the gasoline vapors ignited, the flames engulfed him. A police officer who was driving past the house saw the boy on fire. The officer, along with neighbors, put out the flames. K2's Megan Cockstein is live at Manual Legacy Hospital where medics rushed to the boy last night. So, Megan, any word on how he's doing? Well, you know, Deb, it's really difficult for us to get updates because of those federal privacy laws. So we don't know exactly how this little boy is doing right now. But we do know that he was taken here last night with very serious burns. And he was actually just one of two cases yesterday. There was another case involving a 15-year-old who had minor burns after he was apparently trying to uh, mix and heat chemicals on the family stovetop. Now, fire experts actually say it's not unusual. Kids would be fascinated with fire. But it's important to assess if the curiosity is something more. This really sends a powerful message, and we want kids to see this. Charred trucks, burnt dolls, actual toys burned in this, a fire really started a by a child. Kids, when they start a fire, it scares them, and they'll run. And maybe sometimes they'll try to hide it. They'll try to shut a door and not tell anyone. Um, but the fire keeps growing and keeps burning, and fire doubles in size um, you know, every 30 seconds. Brian Barker with Tualatin Valley Fire and Rescue says they have a resource to help kids called the Youth Fire Intervention Program. We sit down with the kids, we talk to them, talk to them about their life at home, we talk to their parents, and we just try to ascertain kind of where they fall on that spectrum of, of you know, having a problem or just, you know, being a kid. Lighters are tools, not toys. And Clinical so psychologist Dr. Sandy Ramirez says most children are naturally curious about fire, but looking into a family history, even developmental problems, can reveal whether it's something more sinister. Any children who have some developmental um, challenges might be at higher risk. Children who um, have a tendency to be impulsive. The kids to Allerton Valley Councils here are on average 14 years old and mostly boys. It's a good resource for our area. Area, but firefighters say fire safety really starts at home. Kids will be fascinated with fire. It's a question of, you know, how you talk to your kids about it and, and how you impress upon them the dangers of fire. Over the years, Tualatin Valley Fire and Rescue says that they've counseled hundreds of kids. They say that they often will refer kids to other social services if they need the help. We're live at Legacy Emanuel, Megan Cockstein, K2 News.